Ano po, para niya po. Hindi siya pong iba sa bias. On celebrating with him is our chapter of our brother, June Sascon. With one voice, let us join the choir in singing the entrance hymn. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door, and he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now, some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why did this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. And so he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier? To say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise, pick up your mat and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins of her, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. sa dito, nagyari po ako ng anim na oras ng kalahate mula po sa napakatandang mga dalampasigan ng isang bales, patunta po sa magandang gusali ng ayala. Magkaibang magkaiba po tayo ng kapaligiran, pero pare-pareho ang magaganda at alagay ko naman po ay taglay ang pananapalataya sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, our gospel for today taken from Mark chapter 2 verses 1 to 12. I want you to see what the people who were there 2,000 years ago more or less saw. I want you also to see what you have to see. The four men carrying the paralyzed, the four men who struggle getting closer to the Lord Jesus but they were able to overcome that hindrance that block by opening up the roof and lowering the paralyzed in front of the Lord Jesus what did you see while the gospel was being read did you see something did you see what the Lord Jesus has seen what did the Lord Jesus saw or see? Sabi niya, oh, their faith. Because of their faith, the Lord Jesus told these words, Child, your sins are forgiven. And then here comes the scribes saying, why does this man speak that way? He is blasphemy. Who but God alone can forgive sins? 
You see, the Lord Jesus saw the faith of the poor man. The scribe saw something else, whose eyes are right. The Lord Jesus, because of the faith of these four men who struggled and overcome the hindrances to get closer to the Lord Jesus, bringing a paralyzed man, the Lord Jesus saw their faith and in return forgave the sins of this paralyzed man. But the scribes saw otherwise. They saw something bad. They have the eyes not of the Lord, but they have the eyes again is the Lord. That is why the Lord Jesus, sensing what is in their mind, just gave them a kind of dilemma, telling them, uh, which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise, pick up your mat, and walk. Which is easier. It's so easy to say, your sins are forgiven. But to tell the man, rise up, pick up your mind, and walk. But the Lord Jesus, as the Son of Man, having authority to forgive sins on earth, say, say, I say to you, rise up, pick up your mind, and go home. And it did happen. They were all astounded. The people in that place, in Capernaum, were all astounded saying, we have never seen anything like this. Ngayon po, yun din po ang dapat pangkita natin. Remember that uh, when something good is happening, it has to be seen as good. When something good God is doing, we have to look at it as good with the eyes of God. Because if we see otherwise, if something good is happening and we didn't see anything good but otherwise like an evil, then something is wrong with your faith. Something is wrong with our faith, not with our eyes. Kung may mabuti pong ginagawa ang isang tao, at tinignan po natin ito ng may kasamaan, nasa po ang pagkukunan? Nasa po yung diferensya? May apat na mama. Hindi ang nakikita nila yung kasalanan ng paralitiko. They, they didn't consider at all that this man paralyzed because of his sin. But this man needs help. He needs to be forgiven. He needs help. There is something that we have to do for this man. And so these four men carrying this paralyzed man and hurling all blocking just to bring this man Closer to Jesus. Closer to Jesus. Now, lesson one. Please do bring some people who are on the side of bad, being sick, losing hope, be on the side of sinfulness, be on the side of paralysis. Lahat po lang, wala nang pag-asa. Ayaw na. Hindi na lang po dalhin sa simbangan. Tayo po ang magdala. Palagay po tayong lahat na nandito. May kataya naman na tayo to bring someone closer to Jesus. Why? Because we do not look at a person as a sinner only. We do not look at the person as sick and paralyzed only. But we look at the person as a brother, as a sister, as a friend who needs the Lord Jesus. We will be the one to bring them along. Get closer to Jesus. Kahit na ito iharan sa ating harapan. Pangalawa, when there is something good happening, then praise the Lord. When there is something good happening done by a person, mabuting obispo, mabuting pare, mabuting madre, mabuting laiko, mabuting kabataan, pag may ginagawa sila, tingnan natin ang mabuti, yung mabuti po, tingnan natin. Kasi, yun po yung gumawin ng Diyos eh, na, na ginagamit po tayo. Yun po eh. Mahirap po yung mabuti na yung ginagawa, masama pa ang tingin. Yun. Mabuti na po yung ginagawa, pero minumura pa rin. So, yun po yung mga hindi mo ba? 
So, well, the Lord Jesus will not lead us towards that side. But the Lord Jesus will lead us towards this side. Letting us, allowing us to see faith and goodness. Because it is the word of the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, as we have said in the song, do not forget the words of the Lord. Forget not the goodness of God, what the Lord Jesus has done. Do not forget all of those kindness the Lord has done to you and me. Sa inyo po, yung lahat po tayo dito, nakaranas na ng kabutihan ng Diyos. Do not forget them. Because yun po yung pagkukuhan na natin ng lakas eh. Kung hanggang ngayon po, wala pa po kayong naranasan kabutihan mula sa Diyos. Anong nangyari? I don't think so. Lahat po tayo dito na patawad na, na pagaling. Lahat po tayo dito na bigyan na ng pagpala, na bilyaan na. Lahat po tayo dito. We have something we can always thank the Lord and praise His name. And that we have to remember so that when someone is losing hope, when someone is having no faith, when someone is seeing evil, when someone is a sinner, then let that someone see what the Lord God has done to you, what the Lord God has done to us, the goodness of the Lord in the scriptures, what the Lord God wanted us to see. Let us ask the Lord to always make our eyes see His goodness. Let us ask the Santo Nino so that we will always find peace in the midst of turmoil. Let us ask the Blessed Mother to always be there to comfort us so that we will not forget the goodness of the Lord and we will also be going home glorifying God saying we have never seen anything like this. Now receive, give us, we pray, with your abundant grace so that we may come to rejoice in our names too, are written in heaven through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good evening, dear sisters and brothers. So we praise and thank the Lord for gathering us tonight on the last day of our novena to our dear Santo Nino. And he has been so good to gather us here tonight. Kaya palapakan po natin ang ating mahal na Santo Nino. And we continue to praise and thank the Lord for continually guiding us, especially as here in uh, the business district. I know it's Friday, so most of you are looking forward to a restful weekend. And I hope this weekend we may all be given a chance to really further behold. Dito sa akin sa Greenbelt po, sabi ko nga sa inyo, in-extend pa natin ang Pasko. Kaya sana po ay bago matapos talaga, bago natin mailipit lahat ng mga dekorasyon, hindi lang natin panasan yung party at uh, lahat ng activities ng Pasko, but most of all, we will be able to encounter the Christ child. God who is ever young, ever new, ever full of hope. And that is why uh, for the past nine days you have seen in celebration also of the year of the youth, we have invited young priests and also young bishops. And that is why tonight we are very, very pleased and blessed to have with us also a very young bishop. He was uh, made a bishop uh, uh, May of uh, 2018, so last year lang po, lang pa one year na uh, bishop po siya. And, uh, <laughs> nakakita na po pa kayo ng bishop na nagbabasketball, nagbabike, no? at nag, uh, tumatakbo. May uh, po ating bishop ngayon, that's why he's very youthful and uh, I'm sure the Diocese of Iba is very blessed. The bishop is from Bulacan, but at present he is uh, now the bishop of Iba in Sambales. Kaya bagay na bagay po kay bishop yung nature. No? Kasi uh, bata pa ho siya. No? Tayo dito, pagdating sa trekking, maka maiwan na tayo ni bishop po. No? And I'm sure also 
he has so many things still to impart and to be honest with you po, I really do not know Bishop but he was very generous enough despite not knowing me, not knowing us to graciously accept our invitation to be here for our novena despite the distance and despite his busy schedule he has accepted our invitation to honor the Santo Nino and that is why thank you very much for this act when we have a responsible son let us not forget the words of the Lord we will definitely also not forget your graciousness and generosity for us here at Greenville and allow us also to take this opportunity to thank you dear Bishop for I always tell the community it is a blessing for us also to help and that is why this is uh, the first time also we would thank the Diocese of Eva for allowing Greenville Chapel to be of support and to be of help to the five parishes under our Lava Parish program, five parishes there belong to the Diocese of Iba in Zambales. So we are blessed because we are given the chance to share our blessings, to be a blessing to others. And that is a greater blessing more than just giving, that we become a blessing to others. So maraming maraming salamat po, Bishop Bart, that sana po maraming pang pagkakataon na makita namin at maritin namin at makasama namin kayo. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat at maritin namin po ay madalas naman po ako dito noon ng Tarasal. Then naturo po ako sa San Carlos ng Baling San Taon. And nung hindi pa po gawa ang Karinoma at ang Malaking Esten, dito po ako naman na siya. Nandito po ako noon na yung sumagot po siya. Buti na ako, ibang hanta na hindi na hindi. Iniiwas ko ako ng Panginoon. Ano po? Anyway, but kaya rin po ako nagpunta rito. So, to thank you for sharing your blessing ako sa Diocese. Ano po? And talaga po na simple lang po ang buhay sa Sambales. Talaga na po sa Northern Park. But you know, sama yung SDMA and longer po. But on the Northern Park, talaga po simple ang buhay. Lalo na po sa mga ITAS. The other day po ay yan, you're right, ay pero ang mga mountain, ang lahat po makiyak, eh, hindi na po talaga kaya ng matandang uwis po ang makit sa mundo. Ano po, uh, kaya po sa mundo, that's where we will come home, and I heard na uh, sana nga magkaroon kayo ng rest full weekend. Oh, I wish I can invite all of you in the shores of uh, Sambales, ano po, malinis na malinis pa po, yung nasa Northern Park, marami pa po ang Discovered Island, may na-discover lang po ang kalapit na bansa, kanila na raw po yan. Sige, yun na. Ano po? Uh, malayo naman, no? Kaya po, I hope you can also visit uh, San Valens on your summer days, ano po? And, uh, pag may time po kayo, mag-grab time po kayo sa Cathedral, sa St. Ben Cathedral, hanapin niyo po ako doon, kung matatag po niya ako. And I will even offer you whatever I can, ano po? O PT or juice or water. Po, basta po lang po tayo sa pales, sagot ko po ang daga, sagot ko po ang baya. Please thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.